G'day guys, and today I'm going to talk on a bit of a pressing topic at the moment. Players kicking for goal around the corner. Um, I'm a little bit frustrated lately. There's been a lot of um, kicking around the corner. Um, and we're seeing a lot of it fail of late. And especially when the game is on the line. Players are electing to go the old uh, snapperoo around the corner. Uh, Montagna had a pretty good point about... Goal kicking hasn't really improved over the last, you know, 10, 15 years. Players have got to try something different, but yeah, I agree to that to an extent, but I don't agree to players snapping around the body from 15 metres out, 20 metres out directly in front on only a slight angle. And, you know, I, I love Stevie J, I love Menzel, I love all the guys that snap brilliant goals, and I love trying to have a snap myself and kicking great goals around the body no matter where I am, but it's got to a crazy point where players are just electing to take the ease, the so-called uh, easier option to go around the body, and I'll tell you what, there hasn't been great success of late. Um, the shot Rainer took, which I'll bring up, 16-2 um, from a snap from that point, and I think, I can't remember how many goals it was, it was on my phone, but um, a little bit more inaccurate with the, the drop punt from there. Players have just got to, if it's a tight angle or it's too hard to kick a drop punt, go the snap. It's not, not rocket science. I know players practice more than they ever have, but I've also seen players miss a lot as well, even if they have practiced a lot. Look at the game last night, which probably tipped me over the edge, really. I think Billings had a mark. The umpire was sort of calling play on, but he played on him himself. And he was 20 metres out. Straight in front, plays on snaps and it's touched. What are you thinking, mate? <laughs> Go back and take your shot, drop punt, put it through. Stop taking a snap around the body. And I think Jackie Stephen as well. He's another guy I've got in the firing line. <laughs> firing line as well. Can't even see him at the moment. But Jackie Stephen also kicked a point. He was 30, 35 out, running towards goal. Goes across his body and snaps it and misses it. What are players doing? They're going away from the absolute basics. If you kick straight on towards the goals, you're a much better chance than hooking it around the corner. Especially on the run, in that case. You're probably off a couple of steps, you go for the snap. But my God, players are just taking the easier option and seemingly missing. If you're Stevie J, if you're Menzel, if you're a superstar that snaps literally all day, all night, I reckon you're more than entitled to have a shot. But for those ones where you're straight in front or you're on a bit of an angle, easy option is to go the drop punt. I know the drop punt can be a little bit unreliable at times because you've got to hit the perfect sweet spot a bit more. But gee, a lot of these snaps are missing and pretty easy shots as well. I reckon the coaches don't like it. I certainly don't like it. I love the snap. I love, I love it. It's one of the greatest kicks that I like watching. I like kicking them myself, but players are just... It's going to be beyond the joke, really. It's cost rain of the game. Taylor and Bartel did a few a couple of years ago. Lost them, lost the game against Adelaide. Um, yeah, so it, it seemingly hasn't been that effectual of late. But my main message out of this video, players, you're getting paid... Oh, rock star money, a couple hundred thousand a year for most of you, some of you are earning millions. Just go back and kick the goal. You don't have to make it look too fancy. The team thing is to go the highest percentage chance for yourself to kick the best score for your team. And you're just not executing at the moment. So, again, like the snap, and there'll probably be some brilliant snaps later on this round. It'll go, oh, Good on you, TZ100. What, what are you saying, mate? But I'm, I'm not saying you can't snap at all. Just snap when it's a tight angle where it's too difficult to pierce through a drop punt. Just go with, and you've got to go with what's comfortable, but you've got to play the percentages as well. So I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated that players are just being little smart alecks, as Jason Dunster would call them, and just going around the body. It, it's good when it works, but gosh. It's shocking when it when it misses, and I saw a few last night that just tipped me over the edge. I saw some around the corner last week. I'm just like, players, just calm the hell down. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of angry burst from myself. I sort of restrained somehow, but, yeah, 
Snap if it's a tight angle, you can't kick a drop pump from there. It's simple. Simple. Don't overcomplicate it. So, uh, yeah, Phil, I'd love to hear your comments, guys. So, chuck them in the comments, your thoughts on those. I guess on the the snap kick, which is, yeah, it's um, it's been in vogue and it's it's missing a lot of easy goals that could be put through with normal kicks. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to give it a bit of a like and subscribe as well. <laughs> subscribe as well. That'd be awesome. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.